Hey everybody, today I have a very special announcement for you. Now you may have already seen the project from the various teasers that I've posted, but basically we've been working on this for about a year now. It's a community-made RTS platform that is also a spiritual successor to the Wargame franchise. And I'm going to tell you how to join and contribute if you wish to do so. So first of all, what is it? Well, as I said, it's a successor to the Wargame series. It is also an open source platform, which means anyone can get the source code for it and edit it and do whatever they want with it. And it's also community driven, which means that we rely on you guys to put in the work if you want to see this happen. We use uh, Unity 2018.2.3 F1. Unity uses C Sharp if uh, you're not aware. So for those of you that want to program, you need to know that language. Regarding the structure of the project and our visions for it, we do have a design document for it, which uh, is basically more of a wish list. So just because something is on there or something isn't on there doesn't mean that it'll be in the final product and it can always be expanded. It's, it's a work in progress, so don't pay attention to it too much. It serves more as a guide than an official rule set. Uh, the main topic I want to tackle from the design document is the near future setting that we've opted for and um, the main reason for that is just uh, in the early stage of development we don't want to be bogged down by licensing or research issues so we just decided to make up a setting in the near future that would allow us creative freedom to help us realize the project easier. Um, further down the line, however, as I said, the project is envisioned to be a platform, so nothing stops us from making whichever setting we want to. So what we need for this project, well, we obviously need more programmers. If you're proficient in C Sharp or know how Unity works and are interested in helping us out, uh, you'll find all relevant information in the description below. We also need various artists from modelers to animators to texture or material artists. Um, if you also know how to make particle effects, that's also very needed right now. We also need sound designers and UI designers. Map design would come at a later stage because right now we don't really focus too much on it since uh, we're waiting for Unity 2018.3 to release, which will drastically improve the way terrains are made. So we don't pay too much attention to that and that's stuff that can easily be changed. And most of the assets for the levels right now are placeholders that will change in time. So what do you need to join this project? Well, a Discord account is a priority since that's our main um, way of communicating and organizing the project. You will also need a GitHub profile and the desktop app. And you also need a Trello profile because this is where we organize our tasks, who's working on what, and it just helps us keep track of, um, of the progress as well. The way we operate with the project is basically a meritocracy. So I mentioned the design document, just because something's on there doesn't mean it has to work that way in the project. Whoever does something first or puts in the most hours into the project, they can decide where they want to take it. Once you join the Discord and you wish to contribute uh, by being a developer, please do fill out the developer application form. This is mainly for me to or keep track of things and, and organize it so you don't have to send me messages to give you rights and to add you as a collaborator on the repository, I can just check it and add you automatically. Regarding rules, there is a documentation link in the project structure itself on GitHub, which you can check out how exactly to contribute, what you need to do. Uh, for coders and anything, any code related questions, you can talk to Fade. For any art related questions, you can talk to me. Um, you also will need to license your work with this license saying that you do agree to your work being published in this project. If you're using foreign assets for prototyping or simply testing, you need to document that as well because certain assets that we have in the game right now, we're not allowed to use in the final product. We also created a subreddit where you can discuss, share suggestions and do whatever. The Discord server contains all the relevant information under links you can find to the GitHub repository, the Trello board, everything related to the project, and you can always ask questions there too. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you there.